day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, obviously, step one is to sign in to Tinkercad. I always choose sign in with Google, and today we're going to do code blocks. We can hit plus, and we're going to make a brand new code block, and this one is going to be called a coaster. So when we hit new design, let's move right up here, and let's put coaster, and let's put our initials or our name after it so we can keep track of whose is whose. So in code blocks, the first thing you do is choose create new object. We're going to make an object called, we're going to name our object circle star. We're going to build it with a few shapes. First, we're going to bring out a cylinder, connect it to the other block, open up its properties. We're going to change it to 9 and 7 and leave the rest alone. The second shape is going to be a box. When we bring it out, we're going to leave it as 20 and 20, but we're going to set the height to 10. Real quickly, the way code blocks works is if you hit play, it draws those shapes. So right now, nothing fancy is happening, but watch this. We're going to start by bringing out a modify command, and we're going to rotate the two shapes. Make sure you change to axis Z, and we're going to rotate by 45 degrees. You can type the number, or you can drag it to that location. I'm going to speed this up so it happens faster. Now if we hit play, so right now we just twisted this, but all we twisted was the square. Underneath that, the circle has stayed the same. We are going to now shrink this. We shrink things with the scale command. Friends, I'm going to tell you to change these numbers to 0 0.25 and then 0 0.6 and then we're going to make Z 2. Now when we hit play, you'll see that shape is much different. Alrighty friends, so make sure we turn that into a hole. And here's one of my favorite things about code blocks. We can reuse amazing chunks of code. So if we bring that down below, and then we need to simply rotate it one more time so it changes completely directions, make sure you switch to Z. And finally, we're gonna create a group of our amazing circle star. Check it out, when you hit play, that cuts out and it is a pretty cool design. Now it's time to make our second object which is going to be the coaster. Click on the object and choose rename and let's type coaster and tell it OK. Friends we're going to create some awesome variables that allow us to change things as we build. So click on create new variable. We need to rename it. We're going to name this move and then we're gonna put a capital X. That just helps us remember that it says move X and we're gonna bring out another one. Always bring out new ones. If you ever duplicate these, it breaks things. So make sure you do that. Once again, we're gonna call this move and then we're gonna do capital Y so we can keep track of those being our variables. We're gonna give them numbers to start out with. This is gonna be negative 36 and Y is gonna be positive 36. Just trust me, we'll show you why those numbers work the way they do in a bit. At this point, move to your control and we want to repeat. Our design is gonna be five blocks on each side. So we're gonna put a repeat five times and we're gonna do a double repeat so you can duplicate that and put it inside. So there are two repeats. Now this is where it gets magical, friends. We are gonna add a copy of an object. Guess what object we're gonna use? You got it. It's gonna be circle star. We simply drag the variable inside and then we're gonna do a move so that the new one goes to a new location. Click modify, click move, and then instead of typing numbers, we go back to those awesome variables. We're gonna put the move X. Now notice this. We line up the left edge of the move. I watch a lot of students try to use the right edge. It does not work. You gotta go left edge in the hole. And then of course, left edge goes here. Once again, if you try right edge, it just doesn't work. At this point, we want to change those variables. So simply bring out a change item and drop it right underneath. And we're gonna change the move X item and we're gonna increase it by 18. Now, if you're doing your math, that's half of the move X. Now we're gonna work in the loop down below. 
So this time we're going to bring out a set and we're going to set move x back to negative 36. What this does is it moves our project back to that left edge for the next row. Then we're going to bring out a change and if you're thinking about this, if we changed x up here for the first row, for the next row we're going to change move y. And once again, it's going to be 18, but this is going to be negative 18 because it has to move down the screen. Real quickly, just because this is fun to watch, let me show you how this works. If we hit play, you can see our design gets built that fast. The one circle star is still here. I'll show you how to get rid of that in a second. All the new ones go five across because remember we repeated five times. Then we reset to negative 36, which is out here, and we did five more with Y moving down the screen. Now to make a coaster, we need to add an outside, and we need to get rid of that original shape. Let me show you how we do that first. Modify, delete object, and right now we're going to get rid of the original circle star. Friends, at this time we're going to add an outside edge around this shape. We're going to bring out the wicked cool torus. We're going to expand its properties and the radius needs to be 65. The sides need to be 4. The tube needs to be 4. And the steps need to be 4. We do need to add a rotation to turn it to the right way. When you bring out your rotate, we've got to switch to Z. And we want it to be 45 degrees. Once again, you could type that number or you could drag it to that spot. Now when we hit play, we've got a design that's super close to being ready for laser cutting. Friends, our last chunk of code is to come over here and add a create group to make this one piece. I'm also going to change the color just because that's kind of fun. Let's pick purple, and when we hit play, let's check our design. Now friends, if we zoom in here, there is a gap here, so this will cut out the whole circle which is a problem. But because we're using code blocks, watch how cool this is to fix. So we're going to come over here to the circle and instead of 9, we're going to tell it 10. Friends, with a simple click, it recodes itself, everything is overlapping, and check it out. Now when it cuts, because these are solid, you are going to have a sweet working coaster. Friends, that is the beauty of using code blocks. Friends, before I wrap up, I want to let you know this is just the beginning of this project. Now that we've got the coaster, we're going to learn how to modify it. I also want to send a shout out to Rob Morrow for the initial code and Julia Dweck for cool steps we're going to use to modify it. Friends, of course, I'll go cut one of these on my laser and you can check that out in just a little bit. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL mod tech of course friends don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a